Mm. All right, so maybe Chris Rice oversold the whole colleague shocking the world with their driver announcement thing that he mentioned on Door Bumper Clear because on Friday afternoon, Colleg Racing announced the new driver, the number 31 car for next year, replacing Justin Haley will be Daniel Hemrick. Maybe the most mid-pick they could have ever selected. So it doesn't exactly shock the world unless we're talking about shocking the world in the most underwhelming way possible, which they probably did. Honestly, hiring Daniel Hemrick's a lot like hiring Andy Dalton or Derek Carr. Essentially, that's what they did. They went from Derek Carr to Andy Dalton. It's the most mid-pick ever. It's the Mendoza line. You're getting a guy that's safe. Nothing dangerous about him. Nothing that's too spectacular. Nothing that's really that bad. Just nothing that's going to shock the world. For Daniel Hemrick, he's made 276 career starts across NASCAR's top three national touring series, and he has exactly one win to show for that. Granted, it came at the most opportune time when he ended up winning a championship the same night he won a race, which is awesome for him and something that you'll never be able to take away from him. But since then, he has won exactly zero races once again in his lone NASCAR Cup Series season with Richard Childress racing back in 2019. He, uh, had an average finish of 22.5. He was only on the lead lap finish nine times out of those 36 races. Of those 276 starts he's made across all three of NASCAR's national series, he has been running at the finish of 248 of them. And I think that's honestly why Colleg Racing decided to just take the safe route here and move Daniel Hemrick up from the Xfinity series because he doesn't tear up that much equipment. He's a guy that's going to bring the car home in one piece more often than not and he's not going to cost you a lot of money. It doesn't hurt also that he has a good relationship with the sponsor Circle, who will be on the car for a lot of the races in 2024. At the end of the day, though, Matt Cog and Cog Racing, they talk about wanting to go trophy hunting all the time, and you're now moving a guy up to the Cup Series that's won exactly one trophy in his entire career, and that's not really going trophy hunting uh, if you're hiring a guy like Daniel Hemrick. Maybe this is just the stopgap, right, until Call Racing kind of gets their feet underneath them. But at the same time, you look at a team like Trackhouse, came in roughly the same time period, and in, since then, they've absolutely blown Cog out of the water. Trackhouse is viewed as a number two Chevy team at this point, right? They're on the same level with Richard Childers Racing. They're a race-winning organization. They've won four races over the last two years. And meanwhile, Cog has that one win with... AJ Allmendinger in 2021 at the Indianapolis Road Course, which is awesome for them. It's nothing to to be embarrassed by by any means. I mean, they have a NASCAR Cup Series victory on speed. Granted, it took some extra help, but they did manage to win that race. They didn't luck into it. Uh, but when you look at it, Trackhouse just is seemingly doing everything better than what Cog's doing, and Cog has the money to make the same moves that Trackhouse is doing. And this isn't a knock on what Matt Cog is doing over there. They've built a absolute behemoth of an Xfinity program, one that is a top. It's a top three Xfinity program, right? Top four, if we're looking at it. So that's a great, great thing that they've done over there. They've built that from the ground up, and now they are a team that can win week in and week out. Granted, they've been a little bit off this year. When you look at their Cup Series program, though, it does lack a bit of performance, and they just keep kind of hiring guys that are mid. And if that's what you want to be, then so be it. Justin Haley obviously came over. They He brings a little bit of money with him. They decided to move him up from the Xfinity Series. AJ Allmendinger. AJ is a great driver. He's being put in, once again, pretty mediocre equipment at the cup level, and they've made strides this year, right? They've moved up that finishing order as the seasons progress, but it seems like AJ wants to and probably maybe will be going back to the Xfinity Series next year. When asked about that today during the Collig presser, uh, who will be the driver of the 16 car, Chris Rice and Matt Collig were very... Uh, very much shying away from that question, didn't want to talk about it. They did mention that A.J. Allmendinger was a big driving force behind bringing Daniel Hermick over uh, to the cup side in 2024. So we'll see what happens there. They were also asked about their status with their charters uh, for next season, which is not necessarily something that we've heard about. We did hear Chris Rice mention that if somebody had a charter for sale, let them know because they might be interested in buying it. Um, they were also very non-committal about that too. They just were like, oh, we're really happy with our charters. Kind of an odd way to answer that question and an odd question to begin with. But regardless, Cog Racing will have a two-car program next year. And whether AJ Allmendinger is in that 16 car, we'll have to wait and find out. But Daniel Hemrick will be in that number 31 car. It is not the shock the world announcement that Chris Rice was was teasing. At least not for, for me. But shout out to all of the... Um, 
FBI forensic skin analyst uh, on Twitter yesterday. Everybody, and myself included, was trying to figure out whose arm it was. I think we all nailed it for the most part uh, by saying that it was Daniel Hemrick. That was the easiest thing to figure out there. So, Daniel Hemrick joining Paul Racing on the Cup Series side full-time. I obviously made select starts for them last season as they went through that rotating cast. But he'll be joining them in the number 31 car in 2024. So, like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram, Twitter, and threads at BreakHardBlog.